Mark Ruffalo is not a bad Hulk. Look, I complain a lot about the MCU. The MCU ruined Hulk, but we gotta stop the narrative that Mark Ruffalo is a bad Hulk because he's not. It's a definition of being given a bad script. First of all, it's not even Mark Ruffalo's fault. He's very passionate about Hulk. It's the script's fault, it's the writer's fault, it's the director's fault. And this is what I always say. Perfect example is Avengers 1 and 2. I always say this. Hulk in the first two Avengers films is absolute peak. Like, freaking perfection. Not just because of how powerful he is. He bodied Loki, he mopped the floor with Loki, he mopped the floor with Thor, and let's not forget an Age of Ultron. He skid emotion into bots. Robots. He had robots running for their lives. Running away from Hulk. That just shows you that Hulk is a GOAT. And also, he had the final hit on both villains in the first two Avengers films. On Loki, obviously. And even on Ultron, kinda, when he threw him out of the Quinjet. Well then, Scarlet Witch came and ripped his heart out. And then Vision found the last Ultron bot. Well, we know that's not true because Ultron's coming back. But you get the point. Hulk was him in the first two Avengers films. But not just in terms of strength and power. But also his character. Look, I said this a million times like a broken record. Hulk is one of the most tragic and complex Marvel characters. And also, one of the most underrated and misunderstood. He has a tragic backstory. And the first two Avengers films... Show that perfectly. Bruce and Hulk is always a character that battles with trauma, through loneliness, through depression. He is a very heartbreaking character. I mean, him leaving Earth in the end of Age of Ultron was such a perfect setup, man. It was so beautiful, it was so sad, and I was so excited to see where he would go next. But unfortunately, where he ended up going was a comedy fest. As Taka Watiti turned one of the most tragic and sad Marvel characters ever into a complete joke. And that's where the downfall of Hulk started in the MCU, Thor Ragnarok. Look, I'll admit, at first I loved Thor Ragnarok, I thought it was hilarious, but then I read World War Hulk, and it's a complete disgrace to that storyline. First of all, World War Hulk is such a beautiful, amazing, tragic story that shows how amazing of a character Hulk is, that shows Hulk is a hero, even though he lost so much. World War Hulk not only shows how powerful he is, Hulk was holding back, in that storyline, by the way. But it shows how much of a big heart he has. So in Thor Ragnarok, they made Hulk into a goofy comedic relief. Which is a complete disgrace. When in the comics, it was such a serious take on Hulk. This was when Hulk was very mature, speaking full sentences. This was supposed to be a big character growth for Hulk in Thor Ragnarok. Again, I'll explain the World of Hulk storyline in another video. But what they also did was take Korg and made him into a goofy character and Thor's best friend. When in the comics, Korg is a Cronin. The Cronin hate Thor, and in World War Hulk, Korg was Hulk's right hand man. And they also took Meek and completely changed his character. They made him to this bug who can't even talk. Like, but that's why I absolutely do not like Thor Ragnarok at all. And that was the film where the downfall of Hulk started in the MCU. Then you go into Infinity War and the Russo brothers use Hulk as a punching bag to show how powerful Thanos is. When in the comics, Thanos actually Try to avoid Hulk at all costs. Oh, but Thanos made Hulk his pet in the comics. Bro. Like, that's what everybody latches on to. It's so annoying. It's just one comic where Thanos beats the whole Avengers in a different, you know, alternate future timeline. And what's funny is that there's a new Hulk comic book where Hulk absolutely bodies Thanos, who had the mind stolen, by the way. Like, Hulk absolutely cooked Thanos in that comic. Then Endgame came along, and... Look, Professor Hulk is not bad. Look. He is not bad. He's freaking awesome in the comics. Fun fact, in the comics, Professor Hulk is just as strong as Base Hulk, if not even stronger. But in the MCU, they made Professor Hulk bad. Professor Hulk didn't make Hulk bad, no. The MCU made Professor Hulk bad. And to make it even worse, they didn't even give Hulk his rematch. Then fast forward to She-Hulk, which is the worst Marvel project ever. I'm sorry, with all due respect. Then out of nowhere, at a family dinner scene, they rush and bring Scar out of nowhere. First of all, here's my thing. Do not bring other Hulks in until you do the Hulk right. Second, you ruin the whole World War Hulk storyline. Where's Kyra? 
I mean, don't tell me that time works differently in Sakaar. Because we already saw Hulk on Sakaar. He was an absolute joke. It's just whatever, man. Look, point of the video is, it's not Mark Ruffalo's fault. I can tell he's very passionate about the character. We saw how good he is as Hulk with a good script in Avengers 1 and 2. Look, he's just as good as Eric Bana and Edward Norton. All three of them are amazing Hulk. But with Brave New World coming up, that is like Marvel's like last chance to bring Hulk justice. Mark Ruffalo's Hulk justice. Are they going to bring Hulk back and make him beat Red Hulk? Because if they do that, maybe all is forgiven. Maybe.